Becky, well, the steady rain in southeast Texas has generally been good for farmers in our area. Fox 26's business reporter Tom Ziska is live in Needville, where there is cautious optimism about what's growing in those fields that you're standing on. Hi, Tom. Caroline Rasha, good evening to you. And after a couple of very challenging seasons on the farm, that is all very welcome news. But I'll tell you what, getting the crops to grow is really just the first step. And while the corn, the grain sorghum, the cotton down here looks really, really nice, there's a whole lot of work involved in keeping it that way. I think this area of the state is probably the envy of most of Texas right now. A welcome diet of rain and sun has left these Fort Bend County fields with a healthy head start to the growing season. We were with farmer Paul Friend when he planted these fields in March with all the hope that a new season brings. Hopefully a good start, good finish. While no one is counting money just yet, the corn crop is nearing completion, as is the grain sorghum, while cotton still has a few months to mature. Every year it's, it's that very wild. This is an annual field day for local farmers where they come to learn about seeds and treatments designed to give the crops the best chance against disease and bugs, which is a daily battle here. You're trying to control every single thing to be able to squeeze every penny out of the crop that you can. Same thing as any business, right? I mean, you're just trying to maximize profitability. Um, but it is so much more than just planting a seed and hoping for the best. A good crop is vital to equalizing the math of being a farmer these days. Market prices have been low for a while, which means limited profits to pay for all the costs of growing them. Or you may have a decent output this year in terms of production, particularly in the upper coast, but prices are low. And so you have to have a combination of those two things uh, to be able to do well in agriculture. So, as I've said in the past, you may not know a farmer, you may not have met a farmer, but you, we all depend on the work that farmers do. And I will tell you what happens down here on the farm is a lot of hard work, not just the manual labor, but all of the constant efforts to make sure there is something to show for it when the crop is done. Watching your money, I'm Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News.